white people. Light skin <laughs> and white people. <laughs> those, those, as of today, those are my best, best interviews. I wonder what that is. I wonder. Yeah. Uh, we 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 went out to Buffalo. We had a great time. We're, we're definitely gonna go back to Buffalo. Got to go back. And and then we linked up in ATL. Um, Benny the Butcher was there. Dope. Then we hit the mall the next day. Yeah, it was, it was wild crazy. to see you and Woody together. And then the love in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I mean? People walking up to you everywhere. How did that? How's that relationship been like? Uh. It, it's interesting. Uh, you know, uh, I, I I know Woody uh, after the violence, so so yeah, so uh, so that's the, so that's the guy I embrace, uh, and I don't care nothing about you know uh, snitching and telling, uh, so yeah, I, I f with him, and, and and we got a great chemistry together. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got and and, and yeah, I went yeah. to church with that. Guy. Uh, so yeah, 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 yeah. He a church going killer. Out there, mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the yeah, yeah, that was allegedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, uh, so you know, uh, nigga, the FBI had him as what 10, 10, 10, 10 top most violent people in Atlanta. Mm. Yeah, he was on the FBI, as the most violent motherfucker. Uh, so uh, motherfuckers say what they want to say. Uh, it's a lot of told. Uh, it's just mm. the people they told on took plea bargain, and they didn't go to trial, so they didn't have to take the stand. Mm. So yeah, they hiding in the dark. Yeah. In the name of Big Homie. Yeah, and and uh, it, it is a dope dynamic watching y'all do the uh twenty v ones and having fun <laughs> with that, and just like he he's kind of like, I, I, cause I actually watch these shits, right? <clears throat> he looks like the little brother, like no. he's like the little yeah, the little nephew, little brother, like yeah, cause Charles and, Charles will look and he'll be like, I don't want it, and he'll be like. You are in them, yeah. them hoes like him. Yeah, yeah, in them hoes like they him. Love uh, they do. Uh, uh, and, and he got the uh he got the bluntness. Uh that that the, yeah, nah man. Uh and, and he got a youthful appearance. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He he can he he can the 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 forty year old mamas with the twenty some year old daughter. So yeah, he can run through the house. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You yeah. Got, you got the older crew and yeah, the Yeah, yeah, he can <laughs> 40-something-year-old mama with the 20-something-year-old daughter. Because right. they normally be in competition with each other. Mm -hmm. But it, it was dope, nonetheless, being out in Atlanta with y'all. That shit was dope. And I definitely want to get... Like, now that I got this Danza TV I've been popping... I've been calling the motherfucking ass. They had his ass on the stand. Uh, was that today or yesterday? Had it look like they got my boy a little shook up. Shit, so they had his kid. I, I've been trying to call him. Say, let me talk to you. Uh, so, yeah, I ain't heard from him a couple of days. Really? He's under pressure, you think? Uh, I mean, he has to be, right? He's in and out, man. Yeah. He's keep pulling him back. Man. And then what? they see social media, so of course. But I seen it. Well, yeah, what I seen today, yeah, yeah they, they, they had my uh, against the ropes. He texted me today, actually. He wants to come out here. Yeah, yeah, they had him against the ropes. Yeah, yeah. I got to catch that one. That's interesting, because so far. <laughs> we got mentioned in that shit. Know. They mentioned us in there. Uh, the prosecutor them did. Yeah. Uh, Brian Steele. Uh, I think it was uh, Brian Steele's team. Yeah, they were talking about how um, in a recent interview, he didn't know that. Yeah, it's, shit. I'm, I ain't gonna front and act like it ain't dope to be mentioned it. It's like, oh shit, we're mentioning the young thug trial. It's kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, see yeah. you're gonna be mentioning there too. I saw you on the street talking all this shit with Charleston White in the corner. They coming uh, for you too, goddamn it. Uh, yeah. They yeah. coming for you too, <laughs> Fanny Willis. I'm on way to wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm on way to wife play. Yeah. What, what was what was going on with? I saw you got kicked off of. Is it American Airlines? Southwest or a lot? Southwest? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ain't did a motherfucking thing. But you can't tell nobody I ain't done nothing. Uh, they get real touchy on that. Me and my manager put the bag above us. We sitting right in the front. First two. He put the bag up there. The lady said, you need to move the bag. Uh, but I was like, why, why we need to move the bag? We paid to have our stuff right here. So uh, he moved the bag. A uh, little time went by, and, and another lady came by. And we asked, hey, well, why we can't put the bag up there? And she said, I don't see why you can't. Uh, so we put the bag back up there. <laughs> so uh, the other lady come, and uh, we both had headphones on. And uh, she must have been trying to, trying to get his attention. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you know. Excuse me, sir. And she touched, she squeezed his shoulder. So when he took his headphones off, he said, ma'am, uh, you don't have to put your hands on me. 
mm-hmm. to get my attention. She said, well, I was trying to say your name. Uh, and then, she, so, uh, I said, so I took my headphones off and she left. I said, man, what that b- say? Uh, yeah, she came back. She told him, <laughs> pilot, uh, the pilot, me and him said something. So, oh, uh, yeah, I ain't did nothing. So, uh, so, now, so now you a flight risk. <laughs> so, 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 now, so now they remove us off the plane. And so when we get to the front, I'm like, well, shit, I want my refund. Uh, man, I ain't done a motherfucking thing. I ain't said nothing to the b-. I want to see a supervisor and a manager. So I pulled the nigga shit. I want to see a supervisor and a manager. And uh, <laughs> when the manager come from, from behind, he was a fruitcake. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, and he was, a, and he, and he was a flaming yeah. fruitcake. Brown one. And, 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 and you can, in and every traits and attributes this about him was a fruitcake. He be saying some crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. I ain't going to lie. So uh, I started spewing hateful rhetoric. <laughs> you can't do that, man. Not in yeah, the I don't want to. He gonna take the. He gonna take the white <laughs> side. Yeah, yeah, man. He ain't. He don't want to hear nothing. You no know nigga got say. You know so, the rules is different when you in the air. Man, man give me my like, goddamn money back. So I'm top boy. When I turn around, it was a bunch of police with dogs and shit. I said, man, y'all done brought some motherfucking dogs on me, man. How y'all was, man? So then I went to screaming, pole, pole nigga. Y'all do the pole wrong yeah 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 so uh about a month two months later uh i get a certified letter from Southwest airlines saying i am banned uh, from flying were you and, flying in between time I saw yeah i was thing. yeah yeah i was they were waiting to setting you up oh per- uh, perma ban or did they put a time limit on uh <clears throat> they put a time limit on okay but it's a long time yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what got my Instagram deleted. So I posted it bragging. Yeah, I done got banned from Southwest Airlines because this flaming LGBT, uh, and I went in details. Yeah. But I didn't, I, it, it was hateful rhetoric, but it was clean hateful rhetoric. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nova, when you get to this video, this part right here, and you wonder why this shit says under review, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Charles and White, <laughs> you can't type this man's name. In there, it's like all oh, the thumbnail. You better not put my face yeah. up there. No That's the yeah. thumbnail. You better put something next yeah, to put, it. Put, put Kato on the thumbnail. It'll be good. Oh lord. Uh, a few years ago, you were talking about uh, getting Trap Boy Freddy's trap houses shut down, right? Yeah. Fast forward, you had a little incident uh, with him that that transpired recently. Which you look like like a G out there. I'm not gonna lie. Because he, he had the Conor McGregor me. walk, the Charleston White walk, but he had the, you know, he had the, a little bit yeah. more the Conor McGregor swag to it. It's like a hundred of y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, them whole yeah. nigga, them whole ass nigga made me mad. Uh, <laughs> Is that what he's still upset about? No, 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 man. Uh, Ask because you say uh, stopping the white man, but soon it seems like they might say um, what's going to stop the black woman, Kamala. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> She's not a black woman. I think she black or not. Nah. Let me know something. Black or not. Nah. She got yellow skin. With an Indian mama. You you are what you're raised as. No matter what your color is. You can be a baby. And if you find yourself with a pack of wolves, you go think you're a wolf. <laughs> or So nah, I'm, So when did she become black? With an Indian mother, then they the Indian with their dots on their head. Uh, her, her father was Jamaican. He still ain't black. He Jamaican. Uh, mm. He left when she was five or six, so she was raised Indian heritage, Indian culture. She don't know how to do black girl her, huh? cause her mother's Indian. So you are what your mother is, not what your father is. If your dad in the household, yeah. You are who were you raised and how you were raised is what you are. So you see Indian. She she didn't start studying. Got a point, y'all. Y'all rocking with. I don't know what you're talking about. Crazy, crazy. And she didn't start learning about black people till she started studying the civil rights movement because the Indians didn't have a civil rights outside of Gandhi. So that's how she learned about black people studying our culture. Uh, That's how she was able to go hang out with black girls at HBCU, studying our culture. I was gonna say, but she don't, she don't, she don't know our culture. 
She said, uh, they cook greens, they wash greens in the bathtub. The nowhere in the black household nah. do you take food in the bathtub. <laughs> she lost a lot of people yeah, with that. Men, no, nowhere in the black <laughs> household do you do a, a mother for, boy, you better not go in that mother, you finna wash the green world. That might be an Indian thing. Man, <laughs> shit, no, <laughs> man. So no, that ain't no black shit. Uh, Men, and not only that, because <laughs> she got a white husband with, with mixed white kids. Mm. So where's she black at anywhere? So when she go home for holidays, who she looking at black? Who? She is she Indian? But people are gonna eat it up anyway. Well, the whole suck. So this just the feminism movement. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this just a bunch of this just the feminist movement. My yeah. They just want to see a bitch in power. I feel like the rest of the world, right? Their belief. We were speaking about this earlier. Their belief is they don't shake hands and do business with women anyway. Not a whore, no way. So Everybody when when she's sitting down at the table it. trying to make peace, and their religion is not to deal with you. Dude, hey, tell that. Say tell the whole. They ain't say nothing to me. Yeah. Tell the That's a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I don't I think dread. people are prepared for it though. Not at all. I dread it. I dread it. So where do you where do you see the country going with it if it happens? And do you think it's happening? Well, I'm just gonna say this. The president is always a puppet. They never have any power. It's always a motherfucker pulling the strings of the president. So That's a fact. George Bush was president, but Dick Cheney was running shit. So y'all looking at her and saying, man, it's gonna be a woman president. No, her husband gonna be president because mm -hmm. he running his bitch. That's why you don't hear nothing about him. You don't see him. He, he stay off camera. Mm -hmm. He go be the president. He running this shit. He go tell that bitch what to do. She He's listen to that person. white man. They stay separate. He stay separate for a reason. He stay invisible. He's never on camera. You never heard the media say anything. He go be coaching that bitch. Just like Michelle <laughs> Obama was coaching Obama. Mm. Just like uh, Barbara Bush was c coaching George Senior Bush. Just like the Kennedy mother. So when you study these families, homie, the mothers. Hey, do y'all agree with what he's saying right now? If y'all is, man, make sure y'all let me know down below in the comment section. And if y'all made it this far to the video, make sure y'all hit that sub, man. Privacy. Well, some mother. Yeah. It, man, man, when you go, man, the, man, the mothers because they they the motivators and the inspiration. We're the Kennedys, homie. You go yeah. back and watch them movie, homie. It's it's the mothers it's the when mom. when the president fell. The uh, even from Thomas Jefferson, uh, homie, when, when they got sick, homie, it was their wives, homie, uh, that 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 whisper in their ear when they need to make an important decision, laying in that bed. Yeah. So you you know so that's why they bring up the wives, but. <laughs> Never before have, have we had a woman run. They ain't even mentioned this man. Mm. That's his bit. He pin. This gonna be his country. Why he sit back and tell his hoe what to do? So nah, homie, we we bamboozled. We think it's her. Oh man, she gonna be on a pier. She ain't gonna run a mother thing. That's his. And she gonna do what he say do. Mm. I find it funny that they say uh, the excuse that people are making right now is. Um, Kamala didn't have shit to do with. She's just a vice president. She can't make any decisions, right? And then, the, and then the truth comes out about Biden kind of being incoherent. And how long was that the case, right? How long was? Well, that's how, why, how long were they looking to they, Kamala Harris? They've they, they, they been they've been trying to get him to step down. Yeah, but it, it, it's not. So she had to have some so, sort of so, a say. So, right? so, homie, so, 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 Hit, so Hitler, Hitler had mother in the party that was working against the party that controlled the party. And, and you don't know who they are, right? Uh, it, it's not, it, it's not, homie, it's other people running this country and you don't know their names or their faces. It, it's just that Biden's is out there, homie. He, he, man, he retarded. That's why he wouldn't step down. They've been set the stage for, for, for her to do this mm -hmm. because, because she's going to do what he and they say do. Uh, she was placed in this position. Uh, man, Biden been in office. Too, he's, been in, he's been on Capitol Hill for too long yeah. to, to really have some power and, and some say. 
Homer, they just patted him on the back and just made him president. Mm -hmm. But he ain't been running nothing. Uh, Trump is the first president since George Bush Sr. that really ran something. He, he ran the CIA for a while, so he was very powerful. That's why he was able to get his son president. That's why he was able to go back and get Saddam Hussein. Man, uh, Bill. And, and he, the mother shot Kennedy, bro. Uh, mm. George Bush Sr. Uh, Personally? Huh? He ran the operation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, if, you, if you dig deeper into that shit, they'll find out. That yeah, he, he, he was on yeah, CIA. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so, he, he, so, so it's only been very few people that's been powerful like him. J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, America is a corporation. Uh, that's why America thrived. So when Trump was president, because he he run corporations and he in bed with with the corporations. So uh, that's why this country thriving. The, the the politicians are trying to use socialism uh, to to balance the country. When 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 capitalism is what runs the country. Mm. Yeah. Waking up, getting you some goddamn money. That's an American fact. Man, this is capitalism, homie. Yeah, that's true. So so so. You got your government that want to control everything in, 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 in everything in this country. That's a socialist, almost communist country. Mm -hmm. So uh, you got Kamala saying she want to give six thousand dollars to people for having babies. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's gonna make a home and now. So so now, nah, man, she's she not man. She's not running nothing. I just don't like the idea of the vice president. Not though, man. I ain't even gonna sit here and cap to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, man, and let me know how y'all feel about all this in the comment section down below. It's your boy Stingy K, man, and click one of these videos on the screen, man. Grab some merch, man. We got merch on here, man. Peace.